what's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? Hey, look, Phil Spencer, vice president of Windows Gaming at Microsoft, did an interview with Kotaku, and it got the world ablaze because, quote unquote, Phil finally admitted something. Come on, man. How many times we got to go on this merry-go-round? Hey, yo, forget it. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, and I just want to let y'all know from the grip, man. I'm sick of this, man. We're better than this. We are. I know we are. But before I get too deep into that, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, if you haven't already, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask. All right, now, we got your boy fed up, okay? Look, here's the deal, man. Here's the deal. Again, Phil Spencer did an interview with Kotaku. Uh, some guy by the name of, let me see, I, I'm, I'm gonna butcher his name. Steven Totilo, I think I got it right. I think I got it right, okay. Steven Totilo interviewed Phil Spencer talking about the lacklusterness, the garbageness, the trashness, which is the general consensus of the Xbox first party lineup and the fact that their gaming footprint, as I always say, is just little next to none. What I mean by gaming footprint is that they have no influence on what type of games are being made among their gaming peers. Nobody cares. They're, the consistency on Xbox games this generation under Phil is that they're just lackluster and it's just all shovelware for Game Pass. So, I mean, I get it. I, and I, I gotta give kudos to Tilo for wanting to get Phil in a space and just coming at him with this question like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, like, like give us in some answers here because we're at a fever pitch as far as the lacklusterness of your lineup and your footprint. So he's not the problem. And K K Kotaku is not the problem. The problem is that the murmurs in the gaming community about his response. People are talking about that this is refreshing to hear him admit this or whatever. This is insanity. We've been here before. I feel like this is Groundhog's Day. There's nothing new that he said. We just got a bunch more double speak. You know what I'm saying? But look, okay, let, let, let's start from the beginning. Let's try it like this. Let's start from the beginning. Let's go to the interview. Let's go to Phil's response. And let MM2K show you what he's talking about here, okay? All right, so straight from the grip like i said straight from the grip totila comes at phil like with the second question and then the second question he says in 2017 when you were head of the game's portfolio a younger phil spencer told a younger steven totila about the games from the first party that quote it is very important that we pick games that matter we're going to focus on fewer games and make sure that those games are stars when they come out in quote for a long time, Phil, I really did look to the first party of Microsoft and saw consistent the high level of quality. And honestly, I feel like it diminished a little bit at some time in the last several years. I look at the first party operation of all the platforms and I see all the game of the year contenders from both Nintendo and Sony. And I would say bluntly, looking at these recent years from you guys, Forza Horizon stands out, but not so much Crackdown, not so much Halo 5. Which I think, man, many people thought the campaign was weaker than others. Gears 4 was solid, but it wasn't outright the best Gears ever. You know what I'm saying? So, you have good taste in games, Phil. You play a lot of games, Phil. In more ways than one, hopefully. You know, I digress. I don't know if you see it quite the way that I see it. But do you see that there has been a challenge in the terms of high quality game creation with you guys? And... If so, have you figured out the remedy to get past that and make those stars again? Now, again, I don't blame your boy for coming at it with the full artillery. He just went, blah, ka, ka. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tried to hit him up every which way he can. Here's the problem. Phil's a master double speaker. When you go too long, in your attack, you kind of give him too much wiggle room, all right? So here goes Phil's response. I think quality of first party is very important. 
So I'm totally with you there. We did reach a time in our first party with a number of games and studios that we actually had and were investing in, put a lot of pressure on everything that we were doing. And it became more difficult to manage your portfolio when you kind of needed everything at the point to hit that day that it had picked three years ahead of time and very high level of quality. The support that we're getting now and we've had over the last couple of years have allowed us to invest in our first party. Adding eight new studios really create room for us to focus on quality. I feel good about what Rob Ferguson's done, the Gear Studio, the Coalition, what Bonnie Ross has done, and Studio 343 Industries, and what Alan Hartman has done with Turn 10, and what Helen Craig's doing with Minecraft. <laughs> so, in lieu of everybody saying, yo, Phil, this is a breath of fresh air that you're admitting this. Please tell me, what the hell did he just say there? Nothing! He's basically blaming us for having consumer expectations, talking about the first party lineup and when things gotta meet their line. You had no problem with this before Microsoft, okay? You brokered deals, you got us games, we were happy. So that's a bunch of hogwash. On to the bigger point though. Why is everybody reacting to this with hope? This is nothing new, like what is wrong with y'all? There's nothing refreshing about this. Refreshing means you're replenishing something that is lacking. He has not supplied us anything that supports what was lacking, but a bunch of more double speed. What am I talking about? Just follow your boy. Just follow me, okay? Exhibit A. Okay. Ryan McCaffrey. Last year, I believe it was, April 13, 2018. He sends out a tweet. Xbox fans are dying to celebrate a masterpiece level exclusive like God of War. Thing is, though, it looks Sony took 10 years to get to this point with their first party, firing on all cylinders. This work started in the PlayStation 3 year. Xbox can, might get there, but it's gonna take a little, a long time. Phil says, our hardware took time, our service platform backwards compatibility took time, and now it's take time to grow. First party will take time. A high quality and diverse first party, yes, for single player, built the right way is our goal and what our customers deserve. We can have similar results to what we've seen in hardware and platform. But here's the problem. If you couple that, with a lot of the other things that Phil has said. Remember when he said that he wanted Crackdown to be on the same level of Halo, Gears, and Forza? Halo and Gears and Forza have multiplayer components, but what was their stardom in a lot of ways was their campaign. Phil has had Crackdown brewing in his hands in the oven. He put it back in because he wanted the agent to feel like it. And that campaign was lackluster as hell. I mean, don't get me wrong, Wrecking Zone was garbage, but he said he wanted it to be on the level of Halo, Gears, and Forza. So again, that response to Ryan, double speed. Then we got the fact that Phil was at the dice thing that caused your boy MM2K to have his Next Gen 720 moment. You know, remember when Next Gen 720 went ballistic over what Phil did with uh, showing a better PC exclusive than he did in the Xbox games at the showcase at Gamescom? You know what I'm saying? I had my moment with Phil was at Dice when he was talking about how lackluster his lineup was pretty much and how they aspired to be like PlayStation 4's lineup. And it was the big picture of him standing in front of Uncharted 4 and your boy Porter Rock was stomping all over my hopes, desires, and dreams and was laughing his ass off at me. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Okay? And then there was just other times that he said stuff all across Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Where he, he, he just always talked about how he wanted the, the, the first party lineup to be, but he's been saying this for a long time. But here's the facts, people. Again, I want Crackdown to be on the level of Halo Gears of Forza. That was his baby when he released it. He even, he even uh, um, held it off and paused it to get it quote unquote polished. And then, if you look at Phil's record since 2009, after my man Totilo had interviewed him in 2007, he. The, the, the lineup that Phil saw over as the studio head, not just as the, when he was 
uh, when he was given a promotion from the portfolio manager to the studio head, that lineup was lackluster. How does Phil keep getting away with this? I'm gonna tell you how. Cause y'all sitting there saying that there's rays of sunshine and rays out. I don't know if y'all eating paint chips. I don't know if there's a gas leak y'all need to address. I don't know if Phil kidnapped y'all kids and y'all wife and, and, and this is part of the hostage negotiations. I don't know what the hell's going on. But we're not gonna see a better gaming footprint from Phil until we hold him accountable. How do we hold him accountable? Number one, I just showed you. This is more doublespeak. Stop reacting to any positive thing he says with any ray of hope. There is no ray of hope. There's nothing refreshing until we get what we want tangible in our hands. And that's a better gaming experience that we used to get back in the day via the efforts they put in, whether they put out a first party game, whether it's a second party game, whether they help influence a game, you know what I'm saying? We want them to get back to that old gaming footprint. Then you got a whole field of some standards in order to get that to happen. Don't be talking like, and I'm guilty of this too. Stop talking like Phil being at Xbox or the head of Xbox forever is inevitable and he's not touchable. He is touchable. If we pull back our financial support, like, I'm tired of this, man. Phil, you better step up to the plate. I'm rocking with you now, but you better step up to the plate or I'm yanking my game pass. I'm not buying a new console. I'm not investing further in Xbox Live. None of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be serious about this. This man is clinging on to the fact that some people are used to an ecosystem, an ecosystem that was set up a long time ago before he became the head of Xbox, an ecosystem that he hasn't really helped to really burst into anything new tangible in our hands right now. There's nothing but empty dreams and promises that we're going to get something. I love the Xbox One X, but nobody has truly tapped into the power of it. The closest we got was Red Dead Redemption 2. You know what I'm saying? This is your box, Phil. When is your box going to sing? When are we going to get the full $500 out of our box? So before y'all start, start talking like Phil is untouchable, no. Recognize, realize, and strategize. He is touchable. Y'all got to hit him where the money is as far as y'all rebuttal and y'all comment, okay? And then, I'm a, and look, here's the thing, man. Lastly, I can sit here and do podcast after podcast and whine and complain but without action behind it, it means nothing. So I want to take the time to say this. I got a platform here. I've been rocking out with y'all primarily here, but as I've been saying over the last few several days and weeks, we are building another platform on Twitch. Follow your boy, you see the tag here on the screen, at MightyMost2000. We're starting a movement there. This is gonna be my biggest individual project to date, and trust me, this is not a movement that's just gonna die and fizzle away. I am utilizing connections, my experience, 20 plus years in the Fortune 500 world, you know what I'm saying, dealing with a lot of this banker babble. I'm using all of that to finally do what I can to try to enact some change, you know what I'm saying? But I can't do this alone, you know what I'm saying? We can do this together or we can just keep complaining, you know what I mean? So follow your boy again on twitch.tv, mightymost 2000 I'll be doing game streams there. We're gonna fully, uh, what I can say right now, before the official rollout, is that we're gonna fully support hardcore gaming, that hardcore gritty AAA gaming that is at risk right now because we got someone that has a lot of a access to a lot of money that would like to see that dissolve and go away. Really, I mean, you saw it at E3. He got on the stage, used that platform instead of, uh, um, reassuring the core he used it as a platform to show off more uh sugar diabetes game right and then he tried to use it as an excuse that he was trying to fend off laws and stuff that he thought were dangerous and he wanted to show the artsy form of, uh, <laughs> of gaming that's why he did it that way it's a bunch of baloney it's time for us to do something and fight back so again stop reacting off of hope okay because when we react off of hope as content creators as anybody then that sends a signal to the masses that may not know better you know what i'm saying they're looking to us to see what the temperature is to help them gauge the temperature and we always got to be on our p's and q's this is nothing but more double speak from phil i'm sorry and until he puts something tangible in our hands that's all it's going to be 
And that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo. I had a lot to say, but let me know what you think about what I had to say, who, because who cares what I think at the end of the day? It's all about you. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. I'm on the corner of every boulevard, as I said earlier. You know what I'm saying? Definitely check me out on twitch.tv, at MightyMost2000, movement starting there. Yo, I do a show with your peoples. Snow Bunny, Dirt Griggity, Neethos is called Scram Punks. We air it every week. Now, we might be changing the time, but stay tuned for that. Just look at hashtag Scram Punks for more information. It's aired on my boy Dirt Griggity's channel. And last but not least, follow my brother and the broadband bullies be doing the damn thing. Check out the Discord link. We're cutting it up in there. Check out that Patreon link because we need y'all support to keep on with the crazy, crazy fly. Crazy fly. Stupid, silly fly material we got out there. You know what I'm saying? And check out that gear because it's fly. And as always, keep your head on the swivel. Don't give your hopes up too early. Make them earn your respect, okay? And as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.